Good afternoon guys, it's Ollie here at Mozo Northwest. As discussed, I've got a little video walk around here for you with this absolutely stunning Porsche 911 Turbo S. It is a 991.2. Um, obviously the purpose of this video is just to give you a completely upfront and honest uh, report of the condition mainly, some of the features. Uh, obviously as you probably gathered by the advert, it has got some modifications on the vehicle so we'll go through those again together as well. Um, just so you've got a true understanding of exactly what it is that we've got on sale. So obviously very, very nice example, great history. Um, I'll show you around the front end first. Finished in crayon, arguably one of the best Porsche colours available. All in very, very good condition overall. Um, start with the front end, obviously. It's got the odd stone that we've touched in, nothing major. Lenses are in pretty good condition. Not really, got the, again the odd bit of peppering that you tend to get on 911 lamps, but nothing major at all. DRLs all in good condition, all around here. So yeah, overall nice, clean front end. Does come with two keys, uh, one of which is in the uh, crayon finish. So again, obviously it's not out at the moment, we'll put that out for you, but it does have the Turbo S bib at the front, the little splitter. Um, so we'll get that uh, two little chips there that we will touch in for you. So a couple of stone chips on the front bumper and the, the bonnet, which on a car of this age of mileage is, is probably pretty acceptable. So part of the setup that's been done on this vehicle is obviously the suspension, braking and wheel setup. So all of it's been replaced for, for you know, highly spec modifi modified parts, um, starting with the wheels. So the wheels are BBS forged alloys. Yeah, absolutely stunning designs, but these are the cutouts here. Obviously go very well with the original center lock from Porsche. Um, and those have been wrapped in the Yoko tires, which are a form of track tire. If you have a look at the type of rubber on them, extremely sticky rubber really really good um i have been driving this car personally so i can vouch for the performance on it it's exceptionally good at handling uh, as per acceleration as well so really really uh, special car to be honest uh, brakes have been replaced as well kept the original um pistons and, and calipers for the porsche braking which did come standard with ceramics um, but they've been upgraded to um, the surface transform uh, ceramic discs uh, and the Paget RS C1 pads. So the actual performance of the stopping of the vehicle now has been uprated above and beyond the standard capability of the standard Porsche setup. So better discs, better pads, and better alloys. Uh, more stronger alloys, forged alloys, and lighter alloys as well, wrapped in better tyres. So the handling package has been massively improved. Underneath as well, it has full adjustable suspension uh, with all, all uprated forged titanium arms, uh, everything underneath the vehicle as well, all the links, everything underneath has been replaced uh, for, again, more uprated suspension. So the full suspension is completely different um, to the tune of about £40,000. So that is where the majority of the modifications have gone. Uh, obviously, Porsche already built a fantastic vehicle as far as the engine's concerned so um the previous owner who i have spoke to personally and gone through all these mods with him has explained what's done all the receipts are there which we'll go through together um but yes as i say most of the performance upgrades were to enhance the handling of the vehicle and then some obviously for performance in terms of brake horsepower. power so yeah very very clean wheels are lovely one of my favorite points are those bbs alloys so coming around the back again still really really clean condition obviously there's not much to report there's nothing i want to go through here in the form of any negatives on the paintwork uh, around the back you may notice the ex exit pipes are slightly different they are titanium exhaust so it's got a full litchfield custom titanium exhaust system uh, which again i think was in the realms of seven or eight thousand pounds uh, along with that Litchfield have provided the rolling road and custom map on the vehicle as well. So there's some other mods that have been done to the engine to get it up to the realms of the 800 brake horse. Um, and obviously a lot of precautions have also been taken with regards to the coolant system and the intakes, things like that as well, to make sure that the car can cope with that. So it's not just a car that's been modified where someone stuck a remap on it and left it standard. Every precaution has been taken on this car to make sure that it can run the, the power it's running 
with the track set up and the suspension set up that it's got uh, and get the most out of the vehicle. So somebody spent a lot of time and a lot of money making sure that this was the perfect car for, for driving. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a very, very thrilling ride to be honest. Uh, I can't honestly say I've driven anything like it to be honest before. Uh, very, very impressed. So obviously, if you're looking at these sort of vehicles, maybe maybe GT3s, 911 Turbo S's, obviously this is a little bit more of a usable vehicle. It's got a full interior as opposed to GT3. Um, obviously slightly different setup with the engine, but um, yeah, it's just basically a very usable track car, if that's your sort of thing, or if you're just wanting something that is just insanely good at handling and, and, and uh, obviously built for that purpose. But again, as I say, very usable. It's got a full interior. It's got all the creature comforts of a normal 911, including some of the suspension options. So, doesn't sound an awful lot different, to be honest. Obviously the exhaust is slightly different. We've got the roof open with the lovely suede there. Um, I will close that so we can hear what's going on. It does have Apple CarPlay on the 991.2, so it's got the updated version of the software there. It does have the heat steering wheel, suede roof. This is a little uh, rev limiter here, which just gives you an optimum um, indication of when to change gear. Just literally just ticked over the 60,000 miles. Um, but yeah, really, really clean car. I mean, the, the, the wear on the interior and the leather um, is minimal. Um, as I say, it was a second vehicle for the previous owner who's built the car. Um, he's gone and worked on it from the ground up with uh, with a couple of different people that you may or may not be familiar with, but are very big in the Porsche world. So that's the original receipt from Porsche Bolton from when the customer purchased it for 130 grand. Uh, it's then been to Litchfield. So Litchfield are the people that carried out some of the uh, work, but if you do your homework on them, they're probably one of the best, one of the biggest names in the industry for that sort of, uh, for this sort of um, sort of modifications, etc. So as I say there, it's had the uh, 911 titanium exhaust system, uh, turbo to cat, so it's still cat and everything, it's still all completely compliant, all road legal, and then it's had a custom dyno tune as well. Um, which obviously as I said has been remapped so it went to them for the exhaust and the remap and then all the other work that's been done on it has been carried out at Nine Excellence again if you do your homework on this company uh, there is a link uh, in the website and obviously they've looked after this car from, from for a long time uh, and they've spent a lot of time on it so uh, as I say it's had all the, um, the attractive suspension set up um, which was done uh, 2021 so that was part of some of the mods that were done there with the suspension uh, again coming out at sort of like six and a half grand there uh, actuator which will have just been a turbo actuator which is just something that just needed replacing uh, so it's had tarmac series 2 lower control arms so these are basically the lower arms that have been replaced on the suspension again part of the the custom uh, suspension setup that's been done uh, batteries things like that but yeah the the lower arms the actual shocks and suspension themselves um, yeah I can regas things like that just little bits and pieces bearings rear hub bearings that will just be out and just replacing them TPMS uh, those are the tyres that I've just got on recently, so those are the uh, Yokohama, um, really, really good, they've got an A wet grip rating, I honestly, you know, the, the, I mean, I've not driven the car with any other tyres on, obviously, it came with these on, and they, they, they're quite new, um, they were replaced uh, uh, August last year, so it's hardly covered any miles on them, but, um, yeah, the, the, they're fantastic, <laughs> they're really, really good tyres. Um, that's some of the uh, geometrics and the tracking, MOTs that have been done in the past, uh, logbook, uh, and then we've got all the other bits and pieces here that it's been done with it from uh, from uh, Nine Excellence, as I say. So, um, so um, Connor, who had the vehicle before, as I say, he's the guy that has built this vehicle with Nine Excellence. I spoke to him. Uh, he quite regularly had it in and, and adjust the ride height and things like that so uh, it is adjustable suspension so he's been in there and, and changed it we've got it set up now for a road use so it's just a normal road usable car and um, it does have obviously the pdcc on there which allows you to uh, adjust the suspension as well um, but yeah as far as the height's concerned 
um, it's a still usable car I drive it daily um, uh, it's not too stiff uh, I'll tell you sort of all the bits and pieces about the controllers as well which are fitted to it um, but yeah at the moment it's been raised you can adjust it um, obviously um, it has had a little bit of track use and things like that in the past so um, it's um, odd, odd track day that Connor did in it um, obviously being an enthusiast so but yeah it's been very meticulously well cared for uh, so all the geometrics and all that has been always carried out there with regards to the suspension set because it has all been replaced um, everything else is just maintenance obviously it's had bits and pieces oils lubricants gases repeaters you know bits and pieces there again geos um, again batteries lower arm kit that we saw before hoses and clamps um, it had an upgraded turbo um, it's had specialist brake fluid again or to go with the new brakes um, the pads which again were uh, again were an upgraded pad which the RSC ones uh, again very very good um, turbo there so yeah it's had uh, a fair bit of work obviously as I say I can send this all over to the racing pads um, brake fluid These, this is just maintenance one of the key things that it had was the uh, DSC Sport controller so that's a module that you fit basically to the 917 which is the uh, uh, sorry the uh, 718 the uh, Cayman GT4s and the 991s um, it's basically a module that's fit to the vehicle that replaces the controller for the PDCC uh, and that basically makes it softer when you've got the comfort mode on and harder when you've got the sport mode on so it basically kind of adapts the suspension settings that Porsche have put on there and makes it even better. So it makes it even more usable when you're in normal mode. And then when you put it into Sport Plus, you can hear the exhaust tones uh, fire up, the valves open, the spoiler and the bib come out of the front and then the PDCC hardens up, gets really, really hard, tight, adaptive suspension. So it's got the intercooler kit, three and a half grand. So again, as I say, that's been done. It's had all new intercooler kit, all new intakes, hoses. Everything's been replaced uh, there again to cope with the extra PSI, all the extra pressure, uh, all the inlets. Uh, everything were all changed to, to, as I say, to cope with the remap and the extra performance that the engine was carrying, which isn't a lot above and beyond, really. Um, it's not a huge amount. This particular company, if you go on the website, they go in excess of a thousand on a standard engine. Uh, an XNX of a thousand brake horse. Um, you know, this isn't a lot of brake horse above and beyond. They haven't done a lot of mods to the engine because you don't really need to on a car like this. All they've done is they've put bigger intakes on it, better coolant system, a, big, a different turbo, remap, and obviously the um, the um, the exhaust system to, 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 to sort of all run together smoothly with that, just to give it the extra horsepower and to be able to cope with that. Uh, and then obviously, of course, um, the suspension as we've discussed so suspension full arms track setup all suspension arms uh wheels brakes tires um so yeah it's had the full the full shebang so yeah a lot a lot to go into there really obviously um i've spoke to nine excellence themselves who've uh who've done the work on the car as i say and uh and uh very very handy so yeah we could get them we could get them in touch if you needed any further assistance on that or they'd be glad to help in the future if you were buying the car and you needed a bit of guidance with anything they're really really good so anything else you need give me a shout obviously uh, any other questions let me know speak to you soon